Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. It is your Brie FF coming at you with another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you can be more positive and happy. So keep watching and we'll get into it. All right, first things first. If you have not, make sure that you subscribe. That way you won't miss out on upcoming content. I am getting into a lot of mental health related content um, that is based off of my experience with things that I have went through, how I have overcame those things, and just sharing those tactics and those experiences with you all. Hopefully some of these tips that I provide you will actually help. So make sure that you subscribe, that way you don't miss out on upcoming content. Do not forget to like this video as you are watching, if you're enjoying it. So without any further ado, let's go on ahead and jump into it. So the it. first tip that I have for being more positive is almost faking it until you make it. Um, I think that this is just something that you have to do. You have to try to eliminate all negative self-talk. Try not to put yourself down. Try to recognize more positive traits in yourself and give yourself more of a pep talk. The things that you think to yourself about yourself also shape the way that you perceive situations and other people. You start focusing on the positive traits and the positive things in a situation rather than speaking negatively or always focusing on the negative in a situation. It definitely does start to shape your mind where you can be more optimistic and positive. So um, this also leads into tip number two that I have, which is I would highly recommend that you all make a reminder in your phone or write it down on a piece of paper. Make sure that you put this somewhere where you can see it. Or if you do decide to set a digital reminder in your phone, set it so that it reminds you daily. Um, you want to write down the things that you are grateful for. Make a list of all the things and the people that you were grateful for. Um, this is something that I have done to where every time that I look at my phone on my lock screen, there's a reminder that pops up. And as soon as I, you know, do my face um, unlocking on the phone, it pops up the reminder so that I can see all of the things that I want to remember in a day that I am grateful for. Um, whether you put that in your phone again or whether you write those things Put down if you're grateful for, you know, the gift of having another day, being able to be alive for another day, because that is a huge gift within itself that I think a lot of times we can take for granted. Make sure that you make a list of those things and put them somewhere where you can see them because you do want for it to be something that you're able to see as soon as you wake up or at least one of the, th one of the first things that you see when you wake up and as you're going throughout your day so that you can remind yourself, you know, I am grateful, I am thankful. The third tip that I have, you should just smile. Smiling is infectious, it's contagious. I think even if you have to think back to something that's so funny in a time where maybe, you know, you're at work and you're around people who might be a little negative at times, or I think if you find yourself in a difficult situation, it is almost that faking it until you make it. When you smile, you are giving yourself a reason to just be happy and to not be, you know, just down and to feel like you are in some sort of a, um, you know, just a negative mood. I think that smiling definitely can help to get your mind into a frame of just being more on the uplifting and upbeat side of things. Just trying to smile. And I'm not talking about walking around with a clown smile on your face, but seriously, if you're in a good mood, if you're smiling, it's definitely going to rub off on those that you interact, which leads me into the fourth tip. Surround yourself with positive people. If you have to do a deep clean of all of your friends, even maybe some of your you know, family members, if you find that they have very down moods that, you know, and I'm not talking about people who are going through something, right? Because we all go through things. We all deal with things differently. I think it's a totally different situation if you have friends or if you have family members who might be depressed or friends or family members who may be dealing with a trial in their lives at this moment. If you find yourself dealing with people who are constantly negative, just constantly in a bad mood, they're always arguing with people, you know, maybe they walk around and they're always talking about people in a negative way. Maybe they are just always um, 
looking on the dark side of things rather than the bright side. I think that maybe you might need to do a spring cleaning. You might need to distance yourself or at least limit contact with these people. You do not want to become an infected rotten apple. You do not. It is something that definitely is contagious. It's infectious. Again, smiling rubs off on people and complaining and frowning also rubs off on people. We all go through situations. We all have things happen that may not be ideal, but I think it's about how you handle those things that can change and just do a world of difference. You know, when you go into the world and when you meet these people or come across people who seem like their life is so perfect, it's not. It's just that they have found a way to deal and roll with the punches of life. That's just life. There's ups and downs. And you have to make sure that you are living your life to the fullest and just maintaining a positive mindset so that you don't let life beat you up. Um, you know, we all experience different struggles we all experience loss we all experience some sort of despair at some point in our lives and again i feel like if you surround yourself with positive people their positivity will definitely rub off on you it's going to be something where you're going to start to want to be more in a in just a better mood i know for myself it takes a lot more energy for me to be negative and for me to be in a down mood it just makes me feel exhausted it exhausts me it depletes me Whereas when I'm positive, I'm looking forward to the day, whether I have something big planned or I don't, um, you know, I just look forward to doing life. I look forward to just doing very basic things. And I, I enjoy the smaller moments, just being around people who are extremely positive. The next tip that I have for you all to journal Grab yourself a notebook, whether it be a, a notepad, whether it be an actual bound journal with a cute cover, how, whatever it is that you may choose to use to document your thoughts. Whenever you do start to feel frustrated or if you feel irritated by a situation, please write in your journal. Get out all of your negative thoughts, anything that you may want to say that does not align with the positivity and positive thinking. This will help you greatly. Just get out all of your feelings. Don't hold anything back, anything that you may feel. And when it's all said and done, leave those thoughts there. Journaling is a great way to help you express your feelings, be able to get it out. You can acknowledge how you feel. You're able to read what it is that you've written and hopefully feel a release from doing this. I'd say that you can even take the extra step to either shred or burn safely these pages after you have gotten out your thoughts. Um, again, this is just a great way for you to, yes, acknowledge those moments where you feel irritated, where you may feel down. But after you have released that, leave it there. Do not carry it on into the next moment. Do not carry it on into the next day. Leave those negative thoughts on that paper. Time is precious. You want to make sure that you're using yours wisely and as peacefully as you can because life is meant to enjoy, not to be upset, not to struggle, not to care about things that in the grand scheme of the bigger picture, when it comes to just living and enjoying your life, anger doesn't matter. So all that it does is really inhibits you. It inhibits you from being the best you that you can be. And it also inhibits you from just being able to think and view life more positively and being able to attract more positive situations your way by changing your mind and your perception the way that you perceive things. So journaling is a great tool. If you do not do it, I would highly recommend that you start doing it today. Or the next time that something frustrates you, grab you a notepad, scrabble it out, burn it, shred it, and leave it there. The next tip that I have you all is to write positive affirmations about yourself and stick these on your mirror or put them on a wall in your room. It is so important to daily remind yourself of all the positive traits that you possess, whether that be reliable, that you are funny, that you are loving, that you are lovable, that you are someone who is a great listener, that you are honest, you are someone that people love to be around, whether you be a great daughter, whether you be a great sibling, a great friend, 
make sure that you recognize those traits in yourself. And I don't care if you have to even make up things that you may not necessarily feel at the moment embody you. Guess what? When you start thinking more positively of yourself and as you start reading those notes, you're going to be like, yep, yeah, that's me. Because confidence is a huge part in thinking positively. It's acknowledging that you are someone who is worthy of a happy life. You are someone who is worthy of being able to be happy and walking around. You know how there's that stereotype that people walk around and they're whistling and it's like, why are you so happy? Guess what? You deserve to be that person. You deserve to be the person that is able to see the brighter side of things and being able to enjoy life and be happy and not let small things affect you. There's a saying that don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff and it's so true. A lot of things that I spent time being frustrated on in the past, I can't even remember to detail to this day. So it really was a waste of time, but it also is a lesson for me to walk away learning how to not let those things happen again, how to appreciate the time that I have and that I do want to spend my time enjoying my life and viewing the positive side of things and just being able to recognize what things I am grateful for, what does make me happy, what I do have that I am thankful for. Um, so, you know, even in that moment, you see how I took a negative thing and turned it into positive. It is something that you are going to be able to look and say, I am all of these things. And when you start recognizing the good in yourself, you recognize the good in other people. You're able to also attract people who possess those characteristics. And before you know it, you're gonna be building a life for yourself that is the one that you want. You're gonna feel like anything is possible because instead of clouding your mind with negativity or with negative thoughts or looking at things from you know a darker perspective, you're gonna feel so optimistic. You're gonna feel like there's no limit for you to how far you can go. I think it definitely starts with your mind and with shaping it and with changing your perception and thinking positively. My last and final tip for you all when it comes to being happy and being positive is being, again, grateful that you have another day to live. You have another day to get it right. You have another day to live your life the way that you see fit for yourself. I know when you have an end goal in mind, when you have an image in your mind of what success is or what you really desire, sometimes it can be very tough to not focus on the end result and the end goal so much that you don't take time to enjoy the smaller moments. You don't take time to appreciate the process, the journey. And that is the beauty. You want to appreciate the journey. You want to stop and take just moments to thank yourself and to applaud the small accomplishments that you make. Um, because, you know, whether we would like to admit it or not, the end goal is unknown. We don't know what the outcome is going to be. But what you can do is you can appreciate the moments as you are going through them. And I say this to say that I know for myself when I got my first car, it was like a 1995 Toyota Corolla. It was green. It was faded green um, by the time that I was done with it. And I had hubcaps missing from off of it, but I did take pride in my car. I wanted to make sure that it was clean. I wanted to make sure that I kept the inside of it as clean as I could or as clean as I could manage. I would always take time to clean it out if I felt like it got too dirty with loose papers and receipts and everything else. Um, but I wanted to appreciate my car because I knew one day I aspired to have a better car. It was important for me to be grateful for what I had because there was a point in time where I would sit riding along with my mom or my friends and I would be like, I can't wait until I can drive so that I can go where I want to. And when I finally got my car, I cherished it so much. Being grateful for the process. It also helped to prepare me to really take care of and appreciate better cars that I had as time went on. I just think that if you can't appreciate the process, if you can't be positive and act as though you have your end result right now, when you do finally get to that end result, you may not appreciate that. 
So just take time to really be present in the moment. Appreciate the small things, the people that you are grateful for, small accomplishments that you made, whether that be you cleaned your house, whether that be you filled up your gas tank and you know you cleaned out your car, whether that be spending time with someone and maybe taking them on an errand, helping them you know, get something accomplished for themselves. I think you have to find beauty in each moment so that you can appreciate your life on a larger scale and also be ready for when you do receive that huge gift, that blessing of the success that you are going to accomplish. You have to set the stage for now so that you are ready for that when it does happen. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Again, we are not trying to live in a world of delusion, but I do think that it starts with you. It's up to you to change your perception and to control the way that you perceive things so that you can be more positive and happy and enjoy your life. So Brie FFs, I hope that you all stay peaceful. Tune in for the next video and I'll see you soon. Bye.